Hi friends, in this video we are going to see a time reversal property of Z-transform. It says if x of n z transform is taken and we get x of z the region of convergence as R then x of minus n z transform x of 1 by z ROC as 1 by R. So let's take this. Let's take a simple example once again. X of an as one minus one two three. And originates at the first element. Let me get X of Z as 1 minus 1 into z raise to minus 1 plus 2 into z raise to minus 2 plus 3 into z raise to minus 3. We will get x of z as 1 minus 1 by z plus 2 by z square plus 3 by z cube. And what will be the arrows? See, it's a finite. Sequence, so I can say ROC is the complete Z plane. Z equal to zero. So for Z equal to zero, this will be infinite. Hence, ROC is the complete Z plane. Any value of Z will do except z equal to 0. Now we will do one thing. We will time reverse this signal. So time reversal of x of n will be x of minus n you get as 3 2 minus 1 and 1 here is the origin and z transform of this you can say z of x of minus n will be 3 into z cube plus 2 into z square minus 1 into z plus 1 so basically this will be 1 minus z plus 2z square plus 3z and what we will get over here ROC is ROC is the complete z plane except z equal to infinity. Just take for infinite value of z it will become infinite. If you see properly this I can get this is nothing but 1 minus 1 upon 1 by z plus 2 upon 1 by z square plus 3 upon by z cube. So z transform of x of minus n I will get this and if I compare with this so all z if I replace by 1 by z or 1 by z in this x of z I will get z transform of x of minus n. So with this I can say 
z transform of x of minus n we can obtain from the x of z if i replace z by 1 by z that is nothing but x of 1 by z and most importantly for x of z the roc was the complete z plane except z equal to 0 just reverse condition we will get over here roc is the complete z plane except z equal to infinite so it's a reciprocate of 0 is infinite so this will illustrate that roc for z of x of minus n will be 1 by r where r is the roc of x of n let's take an example to elaborate this concept once again example is a signal is given x of n as minus 1 by 6 raised to minus n u of minus n yeah so thing is that over here n is getting replaced by minus n so before replacing with the minus n the original signal was minus 1 by 6 raised to n u of n because we know the z transform of this kind of function which is given as 1 upon 1 minus minus 1 by 6 is like a, a z inverse with roc mod z has to be greater than 1 by 6 Okay, so minus 1 by 6 or 1 by 6 basically it's a circle circle will never have the radius negative so mod z has to be outside the pole which is 1 by 6 or minus 1 by 6 so basically this z transform of this term will get as z upon z plus 1 by 6 now if i replace n by minus n what i will get is the mirror image of this okay, a time reversal so z transform of minus 1 by 6 raised to n u of n will be z upon z plus 1 by 6 with the roc mod z greater than 1 by 6 now if I replace n by minus n, that means time reversal of x of n is x of minus n, nothing but minus 1 by 6 raised to minus n u of minus n. And from the formula, Z transform of this will be whatever the value of Z present over here we need to replace by 1 by Z so that will be 1 by Z upon 1 by Z plus 1 by 6 so let's simplify this so what I will get Z transform of a signal which is nothing but x of n originally is nothing but a z transform of minus 1 by 6 raised to n is to minus n u of minus n is 1 upon 1 plus z by 6 or I can say it's a 6 upon z plus 6 and see where will be the ROC line so as per the pole the ROC must be mod z less than 6 so what I can say over here the ROC over here was mod z greater than 1 by 6 we get roc here mod z 
less than 6. It's just a reciprocate of whatever the ROs we have having for the original signal.